The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in a hadith, مَنْ صَلَّى رَكْعَتَيْنِ لَمْ يُحَدِّثْ نَفْسَهُ فِيهِمَا بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الدُّنْيَا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Whoever prays two rak'ahs and their nafs does not, uh, you know, you are not, uh, you are not listening or giving the opportunity to your nafs to speak to you about things of the world, the reward for having that level of presence in the sada is that Allah forgives your previous sins. So once again, Imam al-Ghazali is saying, this is critical for the prayer to be accepted, to be of those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they establish a true prayer, they're transformed. And they avoid al-fahsha wal-munkar, indecency and wrongdoing, by being present in the salah, by not giving in to the insinuations and the internal conversations of the nafs that take us into the dunya.